I am Anil Kumar and now we will discuss solution of trigonometric equation in quadratic form. Now here we have an equation which is 6 cosine square x minus sine x minus 4 equals to 0 where x is less than 360 degrees and greater than equal to 0 degrees. Right? Now the equation has sine as well as cosine. We should write it in one trigonometric ratio cos square x could be written as 1 minus sin square x. So we will replace cos square x with 1 minus sin square x. Then we will have quadratic equation, quadratic trigonometric equation in sine, right? So we will have 6 times 1 minus sin square x minus sin x minus 4 equals to 0, right? So left side has been modified. Let's open this bracket. 6 times 1 then 6 sine square x with minus sine minus sine x minus 4 equals to 0. So let's bring all these terms with leading coefficient positive. So we'll take them on the right side. So I'll write 6 sine square x will make change the signs right sine x. I prefer to write leading coefficient positive. 6 minus 4 is plus 2 when we take it on the other side becomes minus 2 equals to 0 right. Now, 6 times 2 is 12, so we are looking for product of 12 and sum of 1, which is 4 and 3, right? So it is 6 sine square x plus 4 positive and 3 negative, minus 2 equals to 0. Combine first two terms, 2 sine x is common, so we get 3 sine x plus 2 minus 3 sin x plus 2 equals to 0, 3 sin x plus 2 common, 2 sin x minus 1 equals to 0. So that gives us two sets of solutions. One is 3 sin x plus 2 equals to 0. The other one is 2 sin x minus 1 equals to 0. So that is sin x equals to half and this is sin x equals to minus 2 over 3, right? So these are possible solutions. Now let us figure out what are the values of x. So for the first one which is sin x equals to minus 2 over 3, we know sin is negative in coordinates 3 and 4, right? So we are looking for solutions in coordinates 3 and 4 but in the first case we will find the related acute angles. We will find this related angle beta. So we say let sine beta be equals to positive value 2 over 3 and then we say beta equals to sine inverse of 2 over 3 right. So that gives us the value as shift sine inverse 2 divided by 3 bracket close equals to we will round the answers to one decimal place. We have 41.8 degrees, right? So we have got the related acute angle. So the angles will be how much? One angle for x will be equals to 180 plus 41.8. And the other will be one, I mean 360 degrees minus 41.8 degrees. Right. So these are the two solutions. So let's figure it out. So we have 180 plus 41.8. That is 221.8 degrees. So that is one answer. The other one is 360 minus 41.8. 318.2 degrees. Right. So that is for the first factor. Correct. Now the second factor is sin x equals to half. So we have sin x equals to half. You can use special triangles, right? So whenever possible, try to use special triangles rather than calculator. Well, calculator you can always use, right? So we have 1, 2 square root 3 for the special triangle, which is 30, 60, 90, right? Sin is half, so we are looking for 30 degrees. So we know x is equals to 30 degrees. So that is one solution. However, sine is positive in two quadrants, right? So it is positive in two quadrants. So we are looking for 30 degrees in quadrant 1, acute angle 30 degrees in quadrant 2. 
So we have two solutions. One is 30, the other one is 180 degrees minus 30 degrees. That is 150 degrees, right? So that is 30 degrees for us. And then this is the other solution. You get the point. This angle is 30 degrees, the acute angle. Now we can write down all our answers. The answers are, for the first factor, it is 221.8 degrees. Then we have 318.2 degrees. And then here we have 30 degrees and 150 degrees as four solutions for the given equation, right? I hope that helps. And it also combines together the skills of finding all possible solutions where we could find some exact values and some with calculator. Thank you and all the best.